Welcome to the Gear Slump, your one-stop shop for all things guitar culture nonsense. I'm Aaron. I am Phil. I'm Cole. We slum it hard so you don't have to. What's up, guys? What's up? Long time no record podcast. <laughs> Are you having a stroke? <laughs> long, time. long time no record. Well, I podcast. use a lot word when few word do trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Lacey, Let me ask you what? this. How do you feel about the AC-10 amplifier? I have no feelings about it. Okay. No, I like it. It's a really cool amp. How would you feel if I Vox believe I made... have said what if oh. we could put a volume knob, a blend knob on the AC10 <laughs> that you could What have you button? said? What have you said, Phil? <laughs> you can try. just hang it off the side there. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to say this. I have not made my opinion uh known on this. I Good. I think it's dumb to put it on the top, but the AC-10? No. <laughs> the Schnobel volume oh, tuner. Schnobel. What? We but just talked about that. I know. Ago, I would say, here, let listen, me tell you my listen, idea. Put the volume listen. knob on the side. That's what I was just going to say, damn it. <laughs> no, here's you the thing, it. though. I think in your guys' mind, are you putting your foot on top of the knob and twisting your foot? No, you put the side of your foot against the knob and yeah, kind of move it Yeah, that's what forward. I thought, too. But then when Phil was talking about it, it sounded like... You were, yeah. I just you were like roll putting your foot down on it and twisting it to the left and right. Is that what you're? Is that how you envisioned yes. it, Phil? You mean like that's how he described dudes it. in the eighties would like put out a cigarette on the ground? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, or do I mean I watched potato. him do you it? Do the mashed potato on it? <laughs> <laughs> I watched him do it in the video, and I, I'm saying I think that if the if it was mounted on the side. Then you could put your foot on it and roll your foot. Yeah. Nobody's well, arguing that. If I'm you added is... it without, if you kept the switch, it would be cool. I agree. Switch plus knob on the side. Yeah. If it was an additional option, that. but losing the Maybe switch. Maybe there's not room. Like the, the volume knob is not cool enough to equal losing the switch. Yes, I agree with that. I am yeah. The switch is a very, like, useful, like, it's nice to have a switch that you can just step on and then it mutes your guitar. Yeah. Right. Like, that's a super useful part of a tuner. Totally. Granted, I know I'm saying that, and my tuner doesn't even have a switch on it, but that's... Yeah, totally. <laughs> but that's because you have a box that does the same thing. Exactly. Yes. Um, now, imagine you take out one switch from your one from, switch from your switcher and replace it with the volume knob. <laughs> But a, but uh, but a knob, yeah, dude. He should do an ES8 mod where he just turns <laughs> one of the foot switches into a big old knob, or all of them. Yeah, big old knob. Uh, they're listen, just all imagine? blend knobs. Instead of all yeah. on, now they're all blend knobs. Why and stop there? Foot, if your foot was like perfectly flat on both sides, and it was the right <laughs> width, you could like put it between two knobs, and then you're like turning one up and the other one down, and then it yes. kind of like a blend knob. Or if it was like really long and straight, like a ski, you could turn everything up at once. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> like sideways. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, put it sideways. <laughs> you put on your Ronald McDonald shoes. <laughs> no, because those are too <laughs> like they're not flat enough. Yeah, it's going to be super straight. What I'm saying is, why like stop with with a tuner? Why not change every single foot switch into a blend knob? Yeah, totally. That's a really good idea. Because it's just more options. Yeah. Here's and everybody's thing. saying like, it's so easy to just turn it down horse, with your foot. The half horse, the knob on the half horse is like meant to be used that way. The like big a old blend. Knob. Well, no, it's meant to be used like with <laughs> your foot. But it blends in the fuzz. <laughs> exactly. It blends, it blends between no fuzz and... <laughs> Uh, fuzz <laughs> and uh, one fuzz, fuzz. zero Stupid. fuzz and one fuzz and <laughs> i've never once turned it up with my foot yeah me neither 
So here's why I asked you about the AC10, because oh, a- yes. Vox has introduced a new amp. Oh, I'm going to interrupt you, Aaron, because okay. I want to go on record and say that I, from very, very early on in the podcast, I you believe I'm a fan saying, of Schnobel. I think I was saying oh. I really, really, really want an AC10, because oh, an yeah, AC5 that's true. is too little, and an AC30, or sorry, an AC15 is too much. Yeah. I still want an AC10, too. But Vox has released an AC30 with a single 12 inch speaker instead of this classic 212 loadout. Okay. So it's basically it, the AC10, but 30 watts. So 112, and it's just the top boost circuit. Okay. Is How that is cool or is 15? that 15? Because it's 30 watts. Okay. I mean, I don't. Like, who? Now here's know, my question this Who is, is this amp it's... for? Yeah. I guess yeah, it's for someone who question. wants the power of an AC30, but like they don't want to carry a 212 giant amp with them. And it's cheaper because it's only. What's the AC15? Like 729 or something? No, it's less than that, but not much less. Anyway, it's 799, so it's only a little bit less. I mean, okay, more. but like, and I know th- this. I know you guys make fun of me for being old, and I'm not that old. <laughs> yeah, you're not that old. And then I don't like I don't usually say things that are old person, but I'm about to say something that's a very old person thing okay. to say. How much does it weigh? <laughs> well, that's the thing. I... Like that's the big difference because the the classic the AC thirty. That's like the big thing about it is that it has two twelve inch speakers and it's huge, so it weighs like a freaking ton. I know, but the AC15 weighed too much, and it only had one. Well, I mean, it probably weighs speaker. about. I would say it probably weighs about the same as the AC15. I'm looking on Sweetwater, and I don't have it. It probably it weighs check. more because the transformers are b- going to be bigger, right? Yeah, but probably not a ton more. Fifty-four. I mean, I guess you're right. The speaker is probably a bigger deal than the transformers. I mean, it's fifty-four pounds, which is not insignificant. Ugh. No, the reason well, I sold yeah the. AC15 is 48 and a half. Yeah. The reason I sold my 15, I loved the way it sounded, but I hated carrying it. Really? Yes, that was the reason I sold it. And that's why I've always wanted an AC10. Yeah. Because they're like 25, 30 pounds or something. Yeah, 27 pounds. <laughs> they're not 25 or 30 pounds, you idiot. <laughs> They're 27 pounds. I wasn't correcting he, him. I was just... He always corrects me. Even I was when not, he's correcting not correcting me. <laughs> Sorry, now you're correcting bitter. me about not correcting me. I was just happened to be looking at it when you said that, so I was confirming that your guess was correct. It wasn't a guess, Aaron. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> the AC-15 is so ridiculously heavy. But what do you think about the AC? that new AC-30? Is that like a good idea? I, I don't. It. Okay, for me, I don't know when I would want that. It's just uh, imagine when like I would an AC ten that's thirty watts instead of ten watts. But why do I need those watts? That's what I'm saying. Like me personally, is it really a ten inch speaker? No, it's a twelve inch speaker. Twelve. Oh, the AC ten is a ten inch speaker, but it's. I mean, it's like the analog to that. So it's the top boost circuit from the AC thirty, and and then just the one circuit and a single 12 inch speaker what i'm saying is me personally i sometimes play at church and they prefer prefer less yes volume right and then i <laughs> from sometimes, you specifically yeah, yeah is there any way we can, can hear less of can we Phil? blend can we turn that blend down <laughs> <laughs> can we blend in the no fill the not fill <laughs> And and then I sometimes play at very small venues around uh, town. Yeah. There's like I fifteen watts is plenty. I can't think of a time conceivably and I'm not I'm not I know I'm not everyone, I'm just saying mm-hmm. for me and the the situations that I play, I would never need more than fifteen. Yeah. So yeah. I don't so that's why I say And honestly say, nobody Nobody does because nobody, like, even in the crappy little venues that I play for four people, they still mic my amp. Right, exactly. So, so I like, mean, venue if it's size really has big, nothing to do with it. 
I mean, it kind of does. It just depends on the, but only if you don't have monitors. Like if you're using your amp for a monitor as well, then you might need a certain level okay. of volume. But well, yeah, but who's oh. who's playing in this club that simultaneously I is know. so big that they need a huge amp and also doesn't have monitors? Like I know, mm, too shame. Being so That's lame. true. <laughs> I'm Aaron, just saying what it's it, possible. Are they are they saying like possible. in their copy? Like here's why we think people want one speaker instead of two speakers. Um, bu- 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 um, it's got to just be a weight thing, right? I think it's the weight. Well, it's in the simplicity. So it's they're saying it's like a stripped down version because it doesn't have. It's only one circuit. Oh, because it doesn't have the normal channel. Yeah, but then, but then, why do two speakers in the first place? Because that's just a classic. Like that's what it is. I know, and I'm asking why. Because it's from You're an, saying it's why like an would old it have design. had two speakers originally. Yes, that's what I'm asking. Because it's they from a time it when they loud. didn't have PA's. Yeah. Like back in the day, that was the they were there wasn't such there wasn't a PA. It was just if you were playing at a stadium, your guitar amp needed to be loud enough that everyone in the stadium could hear you from it. Okay. Did my mic cut out again? <laughs> no, no. I I guess maybe my understanding of this is more limited than I thought. But like, there's watts. Which I, I know I'm oversimplifying, but I equate to volume mm-hmm. ab- ability. Uh huh. And then there's numbers of speakers does not equa- equate to volume ability. Right? Yes, it does. It has probably a bigger effect than watts does. Hmm. Huh. Okay. If if you run but the like, same amp into more speakers, it will be louder. Okay, but like. Why aren't there more options of lower watt amps with more speakers? I mean, I guess that's nobody cares about it being loud anymore. That's the thing. Okay, that's why nobody buys four twelves anymore. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like because the single speaker thing and the low watt kind of evolved together for the same reason. That makes sense. So here's I think you have to think about it like backwards because no one's gonna. No one who's playing an AC-15 is going to, like, go up to this new AC-30. Yeah. But I think people who, who wanted an AC-30 and they're like, it's just too big, or people who have yeah. an AC-30, like, this is a more reasonable option for those people, I guess. I mean, it's like the Fender, like, the Supersonic, for example. That's mm. like the 60-watt 1x12. Yeah. Like, the fact that Fender's never done... Don't I they have a 20-watt 20 the... version of that? Like 22 watts or something? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. But I'm just saying, oh. like, it's kind of surprising. It would be the same thing. Like, tons of people love twin reverbs. Right. But at the same time, a lot of the reason a twin reverb sounds like it does is because it's a 212. So, I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's, I guess. I mean, I see, I, think... the, I see the potential market for this. The fact that it's still even heavier than an AC-15, which is already very heavy, is, like, <laughs> kind of insane. I looked up that... the, the weight of the 212, the classic AC-30, and it's 75 pounds. <laughs> So stupid, <laughs> but I, I guess okay. So every here's what here's where I'm kind of like having a problem because you guys are saying well because nobody needs that anymore because of PAs. So then why would you focus on wh- why would they focus on redesigning the thirty at all? I'm like, sure it's still a is popular the amp. Like people still because like the wattage doesn't the wattage doesn't equate to how loud something is really. It equates more to when it starts to break up, and so right. Let's say you really like the clean sound from an AC30 and you don't want it to break up as soon as an AC15 does, but you want it to still weigh less and not be so insanely big. Like I'm not I'm not saying this is the greatest idea in history, but I'm saying it it makes some sense why they would do it, you know. I I would I bet they're going to sell a lot. I think it fits I don't think it's going to like convert anybody, but I feel like I don't know. Maybe not. There are plenty of people who like AC 30s yeah. and like the sound of an AC 30 and don't want a 75 pound amp. But I do wonder like how but, much of that but is to because your of the point, two Phil, speakers. Like an AC 30 into a 112 is probably not going to sound that different than an AC 15. Yeah. Like you're going to have more headroom, but that's probably the main that, thing. Yeah. Not that much more, but I, never felt like with the 15 that I was like, 
Oh, damn it. I just wish I had more headroom. <laughs> exactly. That's because you're a reasonable human being. Like, Phil. oh, I just don't need a... Sound, I just, don't, can you cut that out, Aaron, <laughs> where I called Phil a reasonable human being? <laughs> can, um, can, somebody honestly, make, like, I think... can somebody make an EDM track of Cole saying I'm a reasonable <laughs> human being, please? Reason, reason. Who was it? it was Who was it that did that? It was Adam. Oh, that's right. Adam, please. Please. I did not you... make this meme. <laughs> <laughs> and I did not share this meme. This is a meme? <laughs> this is a meme. I did not <laughs> make this meme. I did not like this meme. And I did not share this meme. This, this meme. <laughs> This Mimi is brought to you by Sinusoid Pro Audio Couture. <laughs> if you have an Pretty... AC30 and you want to hook it up to a 412, then they got speaker cables for you. you get the Sasquatch speaker cable. It's super fat and super cool. Aaron, you can get it in all kinds of colors of or tech flex. Um, and they're literally, have you seen those? Those connectors are massive. Which ones? The Sasquatch ones. The Oh, yeah. The speaker ones. They're hilarious. Like, They're super bulky. Like, come on, guys. Let's be realistic here. Come on. Andy, if you're listening to this, which I know you are, because you love the show, come on. Come on. Come I would on, say guys. do better, but I literally don't think you could do better than they are doing currently. No. With that product. They're doing very good. It's the best. They're doing excellent. Excellently. <laughs> yeah. They are excelling. They're like a spreadsheet. I want to see someone take that take that video of the girl saying this is a Mimi and then you know like there's that gif of I can't remember what Trump was signing but he like flips it around and it has something on it and uh -huh. put funny words on it uh -huh. like I want to see someone do that with that meme and then it shows a shot from over her shoulder and it's a picture of Mimi from the Drew Carey show remember <laughs> you remember yeah. that character I don't know why I remember <laughs> that Mimi. I, I saw a video where someone took that and then added um, Beaker from Sesame Street at the end, <laughs> and he's just saying, "Me me 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 me." me. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also pretty funny. Beaker's from Muppet Babies, and Muppets not from Sesame Street. Is he a Muppet right. Baby? I apologize, he was a Muppet Baby. But it's funny they're, that you they're all Gem Heads and Babies creation. first. I know <laughs> that's because I'm I'm a different generation. They're all Gem right. Heads and creations. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Muppet Babies is our touchstone, Phil. Yeah. Muppet Babies. So. They make your dreams come true. It is an interesting. I don't know. I mean, it makes. It's, it's an obvious things. thing for them to do. It's like uh -huh. if I already have. We already have all these chassis. We already have. Like. We might as well do it, you know. But like, what could you do to make the freaking. AC 15 lighter. Take out the speaker. Make an AC 10. <laughs> that's what they. You know, like, that's the thing. Like, they made yeah. an AC 10. Because one of the biggest things that, like, one of the biggest things that adds weight to an amp is the output transformers. Thank that's you, also, Cole. <laughs> that's what I was saying before. I and that's also you. one of the things that that determines the wattage of it. And so a, a lower wattage amp is, you know, all else being equal, is going to be lighter. And that's why this one is heavier than the AC-15. Which is, but that's why I think, like, I think the success of the AC-10 is what inspired this because it's basically exactly. it's the ac30 version of the ac10 exactly like the ac10 is very much is is like a lighter ac15 and now this is just a lighter ac30 right it would have been cool if it was a 210 though if they made a 210 ac30 mm, interesting or a 28 <laughs> just two eight inch speakers <laughs> no one ever makes a four by eight for a guitar what's up with that yeah, what that is an interesting what thing. What would that like, sound all like? These speakers. I mean, part of it is because like most speakers that are made are made to be hashtag FRFR. Uh -huh. Like they're meant to be like flat, you know, accurate representations of uh -huh. whatever signal it's getting, and that is what you want for a bass normally, mm. and is not what you want for a guitar. So I guess that's why you see so many other weird combinations for bass. Interesting, like a fifteen and a. Or no, just like a the, they'll make like cabs that have like eight eights in them or whatever. <laughs> I've seen an eight ten. Yeah, 
crazy. Yeah, that's what our bassist had in high school. <laughs> so many speakers. <laughs> and we'd use it as our PA. <laughs> yeah, dude. When I, One of my early bands was I played a Marshall with a, in a 412, and the bass player had a Ampeg with the 810. Dude. Yeah. So dude. loud. Was your Marshall like an MG? No, it was like, like, like the... No, it was uh it wasn't my amp that I used, but it was uh the JCM two thousand or something. Oh really? Yeah. That's pretty rad. Yeah, it was cool. I never had any cool gear when I was in high school. I did have a huge I had a PA like that had a mixer, a powered mixer, and then the speakers I had were the same as tall as me, and they each had two fifteens and a horn. Uh uh-huh. They were just like these enormous PA speakers and we'd take them to like play at some little restaurant that the speakers don't even like physically fit inside the restaurant, but we still need speakers that big, you know, <laughs> that's crazy. Having a PA is such a weird thing. I know like owning, well, especially just like, cause like I have a PA now, but it's such a different beast now you know you can get like some powered speakers i mean i have a powered mixer Uh, and some passive speakers but it's much more manageable than it used to be did we lose phil no i'm here oh we we, yes we did lose him in a manner of speaking i'm right here (laughs) i know i said that's why i said in a manner of speaking aaron can you hear me (laughs) in a manner of speaking yes i can to to Aaron, i'm waiting for you to say something funny for me to... Oh, now you're just being... Cool. <laughs> I'm so, not a clown. I don't perform at your leisure. You can't so make me dance. Let, I'm not your freaking court jester. To let people behind the curtain a little bit. You're not a queen. <laughs> For about the last 10 minutes of the episode, last week's episode, uh, my mic... Sometimes like the, the ASIO driver just stops working and... So my mic was just completely dead, but I was still hearing myself and I was still hearing Phil and Aaron and I did not know that they couldn't hear me until after the episode was over because <laughs> I maybe because we're so used to talking over each other and ignoring each other that, uh, so maybe it's not a good sign. I think it's just that you're so used to being heard. Now you take a walk in my shoes. So how's it feel? I posted I've been wanting to buy a Timmy. Feel? <laughs> a Timmy? <laughs> How does it feel when you're in REM? Feels good. Remember that? No. The freaking Are You Talking REM Re Me? I never listened to it. Theme song. It's so good. How does it feel? Oh, that's another good one. So I want to get a Timmy. And. Timmy. I, there's an orange one on Reverb. Mm-hmm. It's, it was apparently some limited edition, and it's really cool looking. And the guy has it listed for one ninety five plus fifteen. Wow. And Timmy's one hundred and thirty dollars new. <laughs> and and whatever you can list it for whatever you want, but I made him an offer of one forty plus fifteen, and he countered at one sixty five plus fifteen. With this reply, you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'll try to just read it like a normal person instead of how Phil reads his game <laughs> reviews. <laughs> Can you guys hey, still hear me? Wait, 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 wait. The people that write these reviews that I read are not normal people. Okay, go on. Holy crap! Are you saying that the guy who wrote this is a normal person? Well, he said he wants to read it like a normal person. Okay, fair. That's fair. Okay. I think, man, my computer. You guys are roboting hard, but are you guys ready for me to read this thing? Yeah, we're ready. We are ready. Beyond okay. ready. Hello, and thank you for your interest Hi. and offer. You're welcome. Aaron, <laughs> I will murder you. <laughs> or I'll pay someone to I bet there's plenty of people near you that I could pay to murder you. don't have to pay them much. I have um, made a lot of enemies. I was going to say, a lot of people would <laughs> murder Aaron for free. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hello, and thank you for your interest and offer. I see that you buy and sell many guitar-related equipment. (laughs) This is not a language barrier issue, by the way. 
As you can see, I have lots of interest and offers. I don't know how I would be able to see that, other than I can see that he's gotten two other offers. That doesn't tell me that he has a lot of interest and offers. After a while... When he says interest can... and offers, it makes me sound like think he's saying interesting offers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I've gotten a lot of interesting offers. Somebody <laughs> offered to give me 30 petals for this. <laughs> um, after a while, you can of get the gist. This isn't even like text-to-speech. I think this guy... Whatever. After a while, you can of get the gist of what a, of what a item of. can sell for. Kind of get the gist. I know. You kind of get it. <laughs> I don't want to you seem at it. all arrogant slash pompous. Because after all, we just buying and selling, <laughs> and hopefully <laughs> en- enjoying the whole experience. And now, and and then, are you sure it's not a language else. barrier? You've talked to this guy. The guy's name is Ron. Ron Group. He's just he's just an old. <laughs> <laughs> that guy who's always talking about acoustic guitars. No, group A, yeah, dude. Is I it think group this a? guy. This guy is as group. old as Ron Group. I think. <laughs> Um. Okay, so I don't want to seem at all arrogant or pompous, because after all, we just buying and selling, and hopefully enjoying the whole experience. That being said, I have turned down offers above what you have offered, and I don't blame you for trying to get the best deal for yourself, because I would do the same. You are now slipping into Phil voice. I know. <laughs> yeah. <dangerous> yeah. <laughs> So again, like, yeah, dude, that's how this works. I want to pay the least amount that I possibly can, <laughs> and you want to get the most amount. That's literally you're describing capitalism at its right. Very we don't core. need to discuss it because that's yeah. just. <laughs> I don't blame obvious. you for trying to get the best deal. I do want to sell this pedal, so I split the <laughs> difference and did a little better. And that's always like the annoying when people say like, "Oh, let's split the difference." It's like, no, you're splitting the difference between your ridiculous price that is in no way tied to reality. Um, so I split the difference. So you only, so you only $25 above your bid, which is only two movie tickets without the popcorn. <laughs> wow. This is, that's I where I start to up to other stuff. It's just so dumb. That's where I start to like f- lose, like think that, okay, this guy is probably trolling me because, uh, warm and stuff. Like, go to the movies. Everyone knows exactly. that. <laughs> <laughs> but like, that is such a weird, like what you would say is. Oh, that's like the price of a couple movie tickets, or that's like a price of a night at the movies. Yeah. But to say two without movie tickets the without the popcorn, first of all, in Utah, movie tickets are not twelve dollars and fifty cents; they're uh-huh. like eight dollars or whatever. Okay, yeah. stop bragging about your movies, all right? Dude, I know, if exactly. I go, if and my I go mortgage during is like a week twelve hundred dollars. First matinee of the day, it's five bucks. Exactly. All right. Stop I wish you made a joke like go to the I movies see in the middle of the day. It's like, I see you're from Utah. This is like the price of taking you and all of your wives to, to a matinee. <laughs> like, I would, have, I would have respected that more. Oh, my gosh. That would have been freaking amazing. I know. Because like, at first, he is just like this. He's just an old guy who's being old and, you know, self-righteous and pompous and everything. I believe you will love this pedal. And if you don't, which I would be surprised, you could sell and probably get your money back. Because I had offers far more than I am asking from you. Oh, wait. I Because I had offers for more than I'm asking from you. This is my favorite part of the whole thing. I won't you back to those offers, which I think means I won't go back to those offers. Uh. I won't go back to those offers I turned down. Too embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. All the best, Ron. <laughs> Oh, and the guy's name is Ron Goldstein. So unless it's a language barrier, like from, nah, never mind. Yeah. So it, he he's definitely from a the native English speaker. He's from another era, though. That's hilarious. Exactly. So did you? <laughs> I love that. Did you end up? Getting I won't that go back. Pedal? What's that? Did you end up getting the pedal? No. So then I just replied immediately. He took a long time to reply <laughs> to my offer. And then I replied immediately and just said TLDR. And there's a 0% and chance decline. that he knows what that means. He does not know what that means. I know. Yeah. That's what's funny about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, it's so funny. Cause like he, there's like zero self-awareness of any kind in the entire thing. But the fact that at the very end, he says, I've already got offers that are better than this, but I can't go back to him cause I'm too embarrassed. <laughs> Cole. <laughs> it's so most great. likely 
he doesn't he doesn't know what that I'm positive he doesn't know what uh too long didn't read means and most likely he doesn't know how to find out <laughs> like he can't like, exactly he probably can't like, even he doesn't know how to the idea of googling he'll like ask one of his grandkids and they'll be like shut up grandpa <laughs> go die already so we can stop paying for your health care <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> so i can take all those sweet sweet petals and sell them for reasonable prices so and then of course so all i did was post a screenshot of that and the and just said this guy because it's funny how can we like, post in our group thing. anymore Shut up, Aaron. I'm just kidding. You, Aaron. <laughs> no, Aaron, we're going to attack you now. Aaron, <laughs> Aaron, you, you should be person. posting in our group. I do you post should. in your group. Our group. You should be <laughs> Aaron, you should be posting in my group. Why so, are you not posting so in my group? So, of course, then outcome, because I More posted than in anywhere Cycle else. Hunt. I do. So, that group is full of Jatipa rejects. Um, <laughs> rejects. And, like, Andrew like Reiner, really he, cool. he says, this is great. Don't want to seem at all arrogant or pompous. Proceeds to be a pompous and very arrogant ass. <laughs> but then, like, after that, every reply, you know, like, or it, over half the replies are like, uh, why don't, like, he seems like a nice guy. Like, why are you being, I didn't read him as being a dick. Maybe a little oblivious and wordy, but nothing offensive. Like, I never said it was offensive. I just yeah, said this that, guy. <laughs> um... Why are you so... I don't think he's a jerk, but that was way too long. You're so triggered. That's what she said. Um, and then, yeah, the, and then that's when all the like self righteous people come out of the woodwork. Um, there's nothing wrong with this guy. He's just. I want to find the one about social skills though, because I thought it was so funny. Ron needs a grammar class. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't all have the same social skills. That's what the guy said, but I can't find it, and I really want to. But at any rate, like, guys, if you post somebody's reply that's funny and you, you're kind of making fun of him, that's okay. You know, the guy's going to be okay. He's, I mean, the guy's last name is Goldstein. He's probably got plenty of money, right? Whoa. Let's be honest. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> I think my response was the best. What did you say? I saw a movie for five dollars the other day. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, and then here's here's our one of our buddies who's bloody good always, show, mate. Who's always a real treat in these groups, dude. To be honest, Ron seems like a nice enough guy, just long winded. I kind of feel like posting this stuff in this group is the dick move. It's like. First of all, I never said his was the dick move, so you saying actually this is the dick move is irrelevant. <laughs> so, anyways. Everyone... Sometimes these posts are funny. Usually they're not. This guy seems like he's likes to talk a lot. Long winded. No biggie. I feel like lately yeah. a lot of the posting in this group has been crossing the line from humorous guitar related interaction to kind of stuck up mean girl stuff. I like the humor, <laughs> but let's not be mean girls. Why? There should be a comma in there. Let's not be mean, girls. Yeah. <laughs> yes. My guess, okay, and that guy, that same guy even says, my guess is English is not his first language. Really? Ron Goldstein? You think he's from, you think Spanish is his first language? You think he's from freaking Scandinavia or something? Idiot. Oh, that's funny. Oh, and then David Luna, his reply is actually pretty funny. I'm Ron's nephew. He's a really sweet guy who loves guitar and gear and studying the economy of movie tickets. It's really sad that this group would make fun of him. I thought we were all gear lovers here. Uncle Ron was just trying to make a sale by being polite and explaining his point of view. He fought in the Cola Wars, and you 60-cycle on jerks are going to treat him like this? Sad. Anyways. Sad. I thought that was decent. Wrong. That was a decent reply. So, Ron, you can suck an egg. How much did you post it for originally? 195 plus 15 shipping, 210 total Jeez. for a Timmy. And it is orange, and it's cool. And I was even willing to pay more than I should have just because it was orange, but not now. Screw that guy. Wow, man. I hope he dies. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's already dead. Oh. Ew. It wasn't that long ago. I Googled orange Timmy, he's like Google said. He's like, sorry, orange I... Tummy? He's like, I love, I love this pedal. I'm sorry I have to sell it, but I just have to pay for my own upcoming funeral expenses. 
my own. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say there's an orange Timmy for one twenty five plus seven shipping, but it's sold. I doubt it was actually orange. I'm looking at it. That sucks, then, Aaron. It was over. I just googled My- it, but it, you know how when you Google it, it gives you like expired results for reverb. Have yeah, you ever noticed yeah. that? I hate that. I hate that too. Yes. It's obnoxious. Because then... Because like, you go, whoa, when you click on it, and it's like, uh, this is not available. Ugh. Yeah. And it just takes you to, like, some generic, like, here's yeah. every listing that is like the one you just said. Why are all these Timmy's so expensive? Like, this one's 179 for just a, like, standard one. Yeah. I don't know. It's crazy. Are they hard to get new? Isn't he still making them, right? Yeah. No, they're not, like, always in stock, but, like... You can wait around for a week and they'll come in stock. Yeah, you know? and they're like one thirty-five or something. I thought. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, they're one thirty-five. No, one twenty-nine. And the, the thing that's interesting, I don't, I don't know. Like every different dealer has their own color. Uh. Uh-huh. So like the ones on Humbucker Music, those are like the first ones that show up usually when you Google it. Those are the surf green ones. I th- maybe there's more than one that has like the dark purpley one. That yeah, I didn't mind, know that that like the, that it had to do with dealers. I, I don't. I'm not even positive that it does, but that's how it seems to be broken. I think up. it so does. Primax, yeah. Primax has a gold one. Uh, Humbucker Music has the surf green one. Let's see who else. Rogue Guitar Shop has. It's like black with I gold. Think theirs is a red one. Oh, so yeah, it's Rogue kind Guitar of a, has a black one. Right now. Oh, really? That's kind of cool. It is cool because it's like black it with stock? gold. Yeah, one twenty nine. Oh no, it says pre order. Never mind. Yeah, but then there is like a red. There's like a red sparkle one that's really cool. Mm. Oh yeah, it's black. It's like a uh, like Marshall colors or yeah, something. yeah. I think they a that lot actually... of times that they get um, white and black, white or black pedals with gold. Like that's kind of their thing. Rogue Guitar Shop. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that rings a bell. That's the dude. That's the one that. It's the guy that owns TMG, right? Am I thinking that right? Uh, probably. I think so. He's like tied to them. Yeah, I think it's the same yeah, owner. You're probably right. Oh yeah, because uh, Sean Arbo was talking to us about it. Speaking of which. Oh nice. Speaking of which, this episode is, of course. As they're, always. They're one of our sponsors. Sponsored by our good friends over at Gun Street Wiring Shop. Our good friend, I should say. It's just Sean. It's a one-man <laughs> shop. His his wife is our friend, too. We never met her. Yeah, she's all right. <laughs> <laughs> he is not going to like that. Of course, everyone knows uh, that Gun Street Wiring Shop makes the best wiring harnesses available in the world ever everyone everyone knows it everyone doesn't know but everyone should know we're here to spread the word folks i'm preaching the gospel of gun street wiring shop (laughs) your guitar needs to be saved gun street can save it your tone is as yeah go ahead as a um as a gun street wiring uh evangelist and missionary do you think you should spend two years learning about the culture of someone you want to expose to gun street wiring or should you just have your friends and family give you some money go there for a couple weeks maybe with a fly rig (laughs) i mean what's what makes more sense um i preach the gospel of gun street at all times and when necessary (laughs) i use words (laughs) touche (laughs) <laughs> you have a gun street in your heart all the yes. time. Oh, uh, dude, I do have a gun street in my heart. That's true. That's a good way to put it. If you want a gun street in your heart, just repeat after me. <laughs> Dear gun street, my guitar sucks. How no, would be the name? Please, the kingdom come. Please send me. Please come into Dear you my. Kane. Please come into my route, and live inside my guitar. Give us this day our daily... Let my tone uh, be your tone. Amen. That's it. Wait, what about Hugh O'Kane? That's it, guys. You're a brand new person. 
Um, if you want to say that <laughs> prayer with us, hey, Hugh are okay. If you said book. that prayer with everyone, uh, with eyes every, closed, every head, every bowed. eye closed, and every <laughs> head bowed. If you said that prayer with us, please raise your hand. Thank you. I see that Thank hand. You. Thank is you. this what yes. Burnigans do? See, I have no yes. context for this. <laughs> yes. That sounds like I see that hand. Yes. Thank you. Mm. Thank yep. you. Anyone mm. else in the back? I didn't Thank raise you. My anyone hand. else? Thank you. Yes. I'm in the back. abstaining. I'm in the balcony. Thank you. Objector. Yes. You over there on the side. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. If you said the mm. prayer, but you didn't weren't comfortable raising your hand, just find someone afterwards to talk to. <laughs> now, if you'd like somebody to pray you with you, give us some money. There's a sign over on the right side here. We'd like to give you a gift. We have a gift. <laughs> We've got a coffee mug. It's just a little token, a little something to help you on your tone journey. There's some pics in there. Some solder. It'd be good. It's like six inches of solder. <laughs> some solder, yeah. Well, that bit went somewhere mm -hmm. i like it. i i I'm like it when you guys it. make jokes that i do not understand at all like that because <laughs> i have no i think a lot of our listeners it. will be able to relate i know that's what's funny is like the, <laughs> the majority of our listeners understand it and enjoy it probably and then a couple of our listeners are going to get really angry and <laughs> that's true we probably will get some negative fan mail here oh i hope so <laughs> guess because guess what if you didn't like that that's okay like most people don't like the majority of this show <laughs> that's, that's true, true. <laughs> if you don't like that now you know how my wife feels <laughs> every time i talk <laughs> oh i kid gosh. phil do you have a game for us i think we should play a game real quick no here i do oh, i want to say one thing really All quick because right. i was mm -hmm. looking for like timmy okay i'm embarrassed to say this you guys okay. i've I've talked about top jacks before and I've made the point and everyone is too stupid to understand subtlety or to understand nuance in any kind of discussion. My point was never that top jacks are worse than side jacks. The point was always that top jacks are not always the better option. They're not inherently superior to side jacks. Sure. It just is situational, but it just so happens that on my pedal on my board, how it's laid out right now, top jacks would be better and so I was looking for a Timmy type pedal with top jacks, which again, I know I'm going to catch heat for that and that's okay. But in my Timmy Googling, <laughs> if you just Google Timmy pedal, one of the very first results is a gear page post that just says, what is the Timmy pedal for? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is it for? Yeah. <laughs> that's a good question. I will say. But the best part is like his, his actual post. Is it a Klon type pedal? Does it just enhance your tone or cut out certain frequencies? Is it for mild amps or clean amps? Someone fill me in. Like, what is it for? That's yeah, a weird it's question. For, like, it's. <laughs> I think the Earthquaker. Yeah, because you can't even. On one hand, it's like the dumbest question ever. And on the other hand, you can't even answer it because it's like it's for changing the way your guitar sounds. I don't know. What is it for? It's, like. Okay, if you said, well, it's a light overdrive pedal. Yeah. Like, yeah. But what is it person... for, though? <laughs> yeah, this person would, like... Is it, for, is, like it for? is it for, like, Fender amps? <laughs> is it for, like, a Stratocaster? Is is this what humor is? <laughs> so, Phil. Hit us yes. up. Hit us up, Stop. Okay. Oh, real quick. Okay. Colt. Check out the Earthquaker um, Westwood. All right. Is that a Timmy clone with top jacks? Not a clone, but it's similar, you said. But is it is it to similar? Okay. I don't know if it's similar, but I'm telling you to check it out. Okay, I'll check it out. <laughs> hey, Aaron, thanks for the heads up. I appreciate that. <laughs> but, Aaron, what is the Westwood for? Yeah, like what's it for, though? It's a translucent drive manipulator. Cole can't check it oh, out. If I didn't even know notice it says for. translucent instead of transparent. That's really cool. <laughs> I wish more people would describe their drive pedals as translucent. I think we should start describing fuzz pedals as opaque. True. Okay. Yeah. You do think. Yeah, that. exactly. It's an opaque overdrive. 
Okay. I want to blend. Is... I want to blend knob between transparent and opaque. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I really just. just... <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, <laughs> stupid. I was about I was about to talk. And <laughs> you were deciding if you wanted to laugh or keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I I make a lot of sounds that that is true are Im- weird flags. embarrassing. Weird flex Usually they're words and sentences, uh, but that was, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know. I liked it. All right, let's hear a review. Keep it up. Okay. All right. So this is that game that everyone loves called Guess That Pedal Review. Like okay. It. This is a, this is by David. It's a one star review titled Terrible Support. I am understanding that things can break, dot, dot, dot. That things can what? It's an autofill for the... Okay. Sorry. That things can break. Break. July 8, 2017. Terrible support. <laughs> I am understanding that things can break, dot, dot, dot. but a company should stand behind their product, let alone their three-year warranty. Long story short, the pedal died. I opened a ticket with support. I did not hear back for three business day. No biggie. Expect their <laughs> so website we in on like a Tuesday state and heard back 24 Monday, hours. Sorry. You missed it. It's call back. Okay. Keep going. I did not hear back for three business day. No biggie. Expect their website state 24 hours. Uh. <laughs> they told me. To do some things that I had already done and explained in my previous email. I don't know, Pop. You said some stuff like MF and suck my big black They stuff. replied back three days later and said to do the same thing again. <laughs> and if that did not work, to bring it to my closest repair center, which is 700 miles <laughs> away. <laughs> At this point, wow. I asked to have a manager call me, and I, I have not heard back. All in all, brand name, will not get any more of my money. If product support is important to you, you should look elsewhere. That's wild. I know that that review love, doesn't give you any information about the pedal, but I loved it so much. I love th- It's good. I like to picture this customer service person saying, like, yeah, you can just bring it by the shop and it'll fix it. <laughs> yeah. Like, just assuming, like, you probably live locally just because doesn't everyone, you know? It's only 700 miles. Well, I'm sure they said send it to the shop. Exactly. <laughs> like, it's... That's why I like to picture that the guy actually said that. Yeah, just bring it by. There'll be someone up there at reception that can take it from you. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm Is not going to drive 700 miles. You'd have to get, like, hotel rooms and stuff. Just the gas alone is probably more than the pedal, right? I mean, is it an electro harmonics <laughs> pedal? Uh, no. Dang. Is JHS? No. It's got to be something that uh, maybe not. Is it Boss? This guy's like in Washington, and he's like, it's not only is it seven hundred miles away, but it's across the entire Pacific Ocean. <laughs> no, it is not. Boss. I'm pretty sure the ocean is more than seven hundred miles. Hey, shut up, Aaron. Across. <laughs> Well, that depends on hey, where I'm you're looking. Sure you're dumb, and I hate you. Do you ever think about that? <laughs> uh, is it like a big company? Mm, yes, yes. Is it MXR? No. MXPX? No. It's not Boss. It's not MXR. It's not Electro Harmonics. Is it bigger than Electro Harmonics? How would I know that? I don't know. <laughs> Just your perception. Is it Digitech? It is not Digitech. Is it DOD? Is it what? DOD? Dodd? No. You know DOD? Is it ODB? No. Is it OPP? No. Yeah. You know me. Uh, 
What color is the pedal? Blue. Good question. <laughs> that's that's going to help us narrow down who made it. <laughs> how how many blend knobs does it have? <laughs> Great question. Does it have a blend knob that blends between flat EQ and uh, very rolled off EQ? It has like three a... knobs and one switch. Three knobs and one switch. Yeah. Is it like, it's like a foot down switch? Foot switches out. like you talked about. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear both your jokes at the same time. They were both really good. <laughs> um. Okay. Are the knobs? Aaron, Aaron, what was your joke? We made the same. I I just said it's a foot switch. That's all. I wouldn't we're make both, a joke. We're both just trying to make fun of you. Mm. Just two <laughs> two sides of the same coin. Mm. Um. Are the knobs arranged in a triangle pattern with the tip pointed down? Like a V shape? No. Are they arranged in a triangle pattern? Yes. Are they all the same size? Yes. Are there one, two knobs at the top or one knob at the top? One at the top. Okay, because sometimes it's like two knobs and a, then one is a like... A triangle pattern. I know, no, 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 I know, but sometimes like it's pointing to the side, you know? Oh like a, no! Like a yeah, no. like a right okay. angle. Is it an isosceles triangle? <laughs> is it equilateral? equilateral? I mean, an isosceles an equilateral triangle is also an isosceles triangle. But you know what I'm saying? Actually, I don't. I don't remember which triangle is which. It's not scalene, right? <laughs> equilateral is all sides are the same, and isosceles is two sides of the same. Uh, it's like it's square. It? It's like a rectangle and a square. Yeah. This is okay. This is a equal trying but we're kind of squares are off. rectangles but not all rectangles are squares. no it was a joke phil i'm just making a joke okay it's a small joke from old um okay I'm... what color are the knobs black are they like those um mxr style knobs like uh, the ones are they like the ones that jhs uses those classic knobs yeah they yes is it a jhs pedal no i guess that like 20 minutes ago oh sorry so it is those kind of knobs. Have we met the person who owns this pedal company? I don't think so. Is it an overdrive pedal? No. Is, is it a is distortion it a pedal? I'm going to say no, even though I'm not sure what I'm saying no to. <laughs> is it a distortion pedal? It is not. Is it a modulation pedal? No. Is it a? It's not a chorus pedal. It is not a chorus pedal. Is it a delay you pedal? Sounded so exasperated by that. <laughs> Wait, what was your delay? It is. It is a delay pedal. A delay. It's a blue delay, with three knobs. Mm-hmm. Come on, Aaron. We is can it, do this. It's not a way huge, is it? It is not. Is it a buying? Is it a small? Is it a small? Buying. B yang. B yang. Oh, is it one no. of those small? Is it is it like a small Chinese manufacturer? No. Is it a standard size pedal? We said it was a big. We already established that it is like a big er company. Is it a standard sized pedal? No. Is it a micro pedal? Big. Like a small it is pedal? A, it is a, it is smaller. Oh, is it a? It's a flashback small mini flashback. Is it a TC yes. Electronic flashback Booyah! mini? Two points to Cole. No, no, it's flashback mini. To Aaron. It's flashback mini. It's flashback mini. <laughs> no, I think, no, I think it's actually called the flashback small, like I said. <laughs> it's not mini flashback. It's flashback mini. <laughs> points to me. I'll be the judge and the arbiter. All right. Okay. Next review. This is by John Litfert. You forgot to tell us that it has three jacks. That's why I didn't get it. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> that is a valid like <laughs> when you said like is it bigger than electro harmonics and you said how would i know that like that is very valid i don't know which of those two companies yeah yeah they're like very much on bigger par with each other i would like, say bigger how like yeah. who makes more pedals who makes more money at selling their pedals like like tc is obviously a bigger company now because it's owned by music group but i didn't know that well, like the the Behringer company. 
And they okay, both been ups. around. They both been around for ages. Been around. Buckle up. This review is long, <laughs> which is why I picked it. Is that the title of the review? <laughs> no. <laughs> Buckle up. John Buckle up. Lipfert. This is a three star review. Decent, but two major problems. Mm. January twelfth, two thousand seventeen. One star per problem. Deduction. No. No, it's minus one and a half stars per problem. It's a three star oh, yes. review. Oh right. crap. Dang it. Two problems, minus two stars. Come on, guys. Keep up. He's got two what? problems, but the stars I, ain't one. I don't understand Aaron's math. He removed one star per problem. Oh okay. 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 You don't give people stars for problems. You take stars away for problems. Well, you do. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And so does John, I guess. Okay, here we go. I had been using an Ignator tweaker as a power amp to get stereo sound by running the right side off the stereo effects into the effects return of the head. Basically, the entire preamp section of the amp was not in use. Mm. I got this blank to have a more simple and compact solution. There were two problems with it, but both were solve both were solvable, but I had neither problem when using the ignator. <laughs> mm. Number one, ground looping through the speaker input plate on the back of the cabinet. As soon as I plugged in pedal name power and plugged in a speaker, I had ground loop issues, a nasty buzz. I put a three prong to two prong adapter on the uh, power cable e EH's power cable and that buzz went away the more permanent fix is to either use a plastic plate instead of a metal or drill a second hole in the back of the cab to isolate the second speaker input number two what? noise when plugged into the output from my pedal board. Once I had cleared up issue one, I plugged in the cable from the pedal board and started getting nasty noise. It wasn't the same constant buzz as number one. It was more like RF noise in higher frequencies with oscillated, oh, which oscillated. Luckily, I had a little P-split kicking around and I wasn't using. I connected the lead from the pedal board to the input of the P-split and the isolated output from the P-split to the EH unit. Is that those pictures you were this making me look at cleared up last that time. noise. P-split. Now that those issues are solved, it works well, sounds clean, and clear and is plenty 100%. loud to keep up with the brand in conjunction with my 50-watt head. I am somewhat disappointed that for the money, they didn't include any of the circuitry to prevent these noise issues. There are a lot of guitarists out there would, wouldn't would know how to fix these issues. That's it. Is it like this is a pedal? Yeah. Yeah. Is it like is a, it an amp? Is it, is it a quilter power block? Is it one of those quilter block? pedals or? Okay. This pedal, I'm going to give you a freebie. This is a pedal, except there's no switch. Foot switch, I mean. Uh, So is it one of those quilter amp pedals? It is not a quilter amp power pedal. Let me ask you is this. What of, makes a pedal is, a pedal? <laughs> well, it is <laughs> the switch, right? Is it like a sans amp of some kind? It is. I okay. I'm gonna. <laughs> here's another freebie. It is in the shape of a normal size pedal. It doesn't count as a freebie if you're telling us stuff that we should like to fix up your screw ups. <laughs> so. Well, okay. Um, there are pedals. I I will stand by this, the fact that this pedal has a speaker output though it's an amplifier. Um, 
it has an output and an input. That's not what I asked. <laughs> does it have a speaker level output that you can run direct into a cab? Or does it just like a DI of some kind? I guess that's how you use it. You guys, I'm not. What does the output say? Just okay, output? It says, out, it says output. <laughs> and then it says 8 or 16 ohms. <laughs> yes, that's a speaker output then. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, is I mean, there aren't that many of these. Which one was the popular one that everyone was using in 2018 NAM? It wasn't a quilter one. Who who made that little amp? There's an old blood like one. Doesn't Electro make one? What's the Electro Harmonix? Electro Harmonix has like the Magnum 44, I think, is one. Is that what it is? But that has a. It is Cole. You are correct. Oh. Booyah! I thought that had a two pad, points pedal switch on it. 44 Magnum. Actually, I got that because he didn't know the name. But you didn't say you thought that's what it was. Cole well, he did. didn't either. He just asked. <laughs> you were just answering. One. Is it, just is, it my that, is it the Electroharmonics 44 Magnum? It is. Yes! <laughs> but, but Cole John, said that before no, you, didn't. so... He so did here's, not say here's those the words. Thing. Here's the thing. This, this idiot's probably, first of all, trying to run this freaking amp off of the same power supply that he's running his pedals off of. Mm. Even though it's 24 volts, he probably has like a voltage doubler or whatever. So if he's doing that, then of course he's going to have ground loop hum. But is that the but, issue you think? I've also like just not this, heard this pulls a, like great things about these things. This pulls a ton of current, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not like vouching for this pedal in any way. I'm sure it has problems. I mean, it's an electro harmonics pedal that has an amplifier in it and it's $150. Of course it's going to be sketchy. <laughs> it's 150, 150. That's a weird price too. It's way weird. Like, I don't <laughs> think of quality when I think of electro harmonics to be quite honest. No, I don't either. That's why whenever, like the last one, when he's talking about anytime someone says something breaks, I immediately think it's electro harmonics. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Especially like the, even just like their foot switches. Like if somebody talks about a foot switch breaking, it's like, oh, it's probably electro harmonics or a foot switch popping too loud. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or the knobs broke. Here's, here's my question though. Is something a pedal if it doesn't have a foot switch? Yes, that's a pedal. It's a. I mean, thank I you, get, Cole. But is it I actually? Get I get what you're saying. Well, wait a minute. Okay, so, but Aaron, but like, is what a about a pedal? A pedal? Yeah. And yes, what about because, those? Um, well, first of all, it has remember how Cusack has those pedals that don't have a foot switch? But they're, they're not pedals. On. The word pedal means like relating to a foot. <laughs> is that what it means? A Webster's if, Dictionary defines pedal use as it. relating to a foot. If you can't, Thank you if for it's that not etymology. foot controlled, then it's not pedal. It's not a pedal effect. Well, this has a knob on it that I could control with my foot. You could. <laughs> I appreciate that. Except you'd be hitting that little foot switch at the same time, or the little switch at the oh, same time. Oh, so it does have a foot switch. I'm just kidding. All right, one more. It is a foot switch. Do we have time for one more? To hit it with your. Foot. We have time for one more. So do we? base a pedal does a pedal is defined as being like foot operated. Yeah. So. Because technically, a pedal is is a like an adjective that has but become. But now a, you're listen, being you're being the same guy. I'm being who says, ridiculous. I know. Like a, this isn't a trem; it's a vibrato. It's a strap I vibrato. Know. It's not I'm a tremolo. Just being, you're being everything you hate, I'm, Aaron. But I'm doing it jokingly. Well, Were you joking? You weren't at first until I called you out on it. That's not true. Yeah. So was. guys, I wasn't really being racist. Obviously, they are. Obviously, it's a pedal. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I mean, that's, okay. <laughs> it's in the box. It's like when yes, someone says, not, like, are put in. "It's like when someone says it's like a bike, but you pedal with your hands. You can't actually pedal with your hands. <laughs> I can. No, now you're manualing. You're not pedaling. You're manualing. Dude, I love manualing on Tony Hawk. <laughs> tie your combos together. Okay, Dude, Phil, love. read the next review because I have to leave. Okay. Um. So this is. My son's four- getting baptized for real, not the fake stuff you guys were joking about earlier. <laughs> that wasn't baptism. I believe that was just oh, okay. You know, I mean, giving okay. your heart to the Lord or whatever. You have to okay. believe. I can. We and Phil can handle this on our own. This is a four-star review. <laughs> I'll take the points. <laughs> it's by uh, nice. you guys. Hang yeah. on, somebody look this up. This review is by Revelation Twenty Two Five. Oh, man. That's his name? That's the name. Okay. okay. 
The review Maybe. is four stars. King awesome James version, pedal. only version. Here, let me read this first. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Yikes. Okay, kind of creepy. Yep. I mean, uh, weird flex. But it's okay. not what I was expecting <laughs> someone's username to be. <laughs> okay, four stars. Awesome pedal, questionable literature. <laughs> November, <laughs> November 9, 2014. It came with a porn magazine. <laughs> I thought it was, I was like, is this the Watchtower? Or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Jesus is black on the cover of this thing. That's not real. <laughs> okay. Great sounding pedal that saved my soul. However, <laughs> the directions are not clear. Wow, on how to save a favorite. I followed them the best I could and ended up getting my hand I'll stuck how to in my favorite. toaster. All I have to do is say, dear pedal. That's the only reason for the four-star rating. <laughs> These are the settings. In the I directions, want. if the directions were clearer, were written clearer, or if my hand simply came out of the toaster easily, <laughs> then I would have given it five stars. <laughs> This makes no sense. It's got to be one of the Strymon smaller pedals, is it? Yes. Boom! L, uh, L cap? No. Blue sky? No. Lex? No. Ola? Dig? No. No. Deco? No. Ballsack. Flint? No. Oh, is it one of the uh, Riverside Sunset. or Sunset? No, no. Serious? <laughs> You've named like every deer. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's left? <laughs> oh my gosh! Somebody's listening to this and they're it's the, it. it's the phaser one. Is it, is it a delay? Delay. It is not a delay. Is it a phaser? It is not a phaser. Dude, what? That is the Ola. How have we not set it? It's not the blue sky. What? It do they have the another sky. reverb? It is not. I mean the flame a reverb. But... Oh, the uh, crap! What's the? Dang it. Is it like a tape effect? No. No, that's a deco. I said that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's is not... it new? Oh, no. no. Is it old? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Well, it's is at least 2014. Like it doesn't exist? Mm. Is it... <laughs> is it the OB... I... OB1? Is that what it is? No. Oh, is it the compressor one? Is that no. what the Obi one is? It's a flanger. Oh, it's the pink one. Is it the pink one? I would call it Magenta. Purple. It's Orbit. Yes. Orbit. Describe an Orbit. Oh. <laughs> After he Googled it. I didn't. You did. I didn't. You did. I didn't. But you did. I didn't. I went to Strymon.net and clicked on products. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> It's not pink though. It's definitely purple. It's definitely pinkish. You're joking, right? No, it's pinkish. I... No, no, it's not. It's yeah, purple. It's like magenta. It's magenta. It's like if it was green and you said it's bluish. Like yeah, there's blue in that. Right. But... It's like yeah, Barney is no. is pinkish. Yeah, like the Viking, the Minnesota Vikings. No. Their uniforms are pink. Very different color. This this pedal is literally the exact color as Barney. They took the picker tool. No, they said, took a picture of Barney and used the picking tool and picked that exact color. To the Vikings. Oh, yeah. The Vikings is a little bit different. Okay, but so can we... What is this a thing that people say? I, f f Which thing? No, the guy's like trying to be funny and make fun of Jatipa people, I think, isn't he? Or no, but he, says, but he says, great sounding pedal... <laughs> Okay, great sounding pedal that saved us, saved my soul. Okay, that's a joke. But then he says, however, the directions are not clear on how to save no, I a think... favorite. I followed them the best I could and ended up getting my hand stuck in a in my toaster. Oh, yeah, that I've never heard. I think okay. that's like a, he's just saying they're so confusing. It's that, so confusing, right. But then I he says the same like, joke again. He says it again. It's like, yeah, he's just doubling down on what he thinks is a funny joke. Yeah. Okay. I have to go, but I genuinely right. want somebody to look up and figure out because I think we named literally every pedal except this one. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did. But then I, I was like, oh, you've named all of them. And then you continued to name ones that had not been named. I know. 
that were not it. <laughs> well, that is the only, that's the only one that I didn't know. Just yeah, I don't remember. I mean, I, I'm I, the only reason I knew that this pedal existed is because when I found you just that, talked about the purple. Yeah, yeah, the purple Mobius. Oh yeah, and it made me want to get this pedal just because it's such a cool color. <laughs> of purple it, Mobius. It is a pretty cool color. Yeah, I do like that pink Mobius. <laughs> Dude, pink, pink Mobius. You gotta, That's you actually gotta. my username. <laughs> this guy's was <laughs> Revelation twenty two. What a weird scripture to make your name like. Of on all Amazon, of, too. It's like, yeah, that's so weird. It's again, I guess it makes, I guess the whole, like his whole thing is he's making fun of Jatipo guys, I guess. I don't think I don't he think is. So maybe if you have that as your yeah. username, I guess, but can't you, you can set a different username for every review, can't but you? That's not like a joke. Exactly. Well, that's the thing. Like, have you, or maybe he is a Jatipo guy because oh. they are incapable of understanding what an actual joke is, but okay. He's got a five star review for the Metal Zone and it's titled Demon Crushing Tones One Flaw. This guy's awesome. Man. Speaking of Metal Zones, I just bought Willa Hughes Metal Zone. <laughs> so now, and I bought another DS1. So I'm going to have two DS1s in Metal Zone. So suck on that, haters. All right. Okay. Thanks for friendship. Thanks for friendship. This episode is sponsored by the Gabriel Strange Company. Get some strings. Go to the String Cult. <laughs> <laughs>